Hey, how's it going, tubers? Mr. Green here. And uh, I thought I'd do a little update video on my 1000 watt grid tie inverter. Um, I bought it uh, hooked up uh, because the, the panels are actually 39 volt panels. Um, the grid tie inverter, here I can show you. The grid tie inverter that I bought does. Uh, it's a thousand watts and it does 10.5 to 28 volts DC and output 90 to 100 volt or yeah 140 volt AC. So uh, what I had done is used this step down controller, but the problem was that it would not keep a constant voltage. So your uh, so on the the side of this right here, there's a little green light and it would flash, it would blink non-stop see there it just went solid so this didn't work for me so what I what I did was I had an old um, solar charge controller this is not a P or an MPPT this is just a PWM so when I upgraded my other one so what I did was I ran these are the wires coming in from the solar panels and then I ran a fused line down here up and into this battery and then from the battery, I attached an 8 gauge wire from here down and into the grid tie inverter and then out to the plug. So now everything is working the way it's supposed to, and it automatically shuts down when it hits about 11 volts. Around there, it says 10.5, but that's sometimes it'll shut down, it'll fault before that. So this battery overnight never drains lower than that. So by the next morning, it charges right back up. And this is just an old crappy battery. All I'm using it for is because it can spit out at whatever this battery is voltage is. So right now, it's 13 volts is what it's putting in uh, into the inverter now. So that's this controller will automatically steps down from the solar panel down to 12 volts and charges this battery. So not obviously the best way to do this, but it's the only way I could get it to work for me. Um, and this way I'm going to start upgrading some batteries at home and have a battery backup out here as well at, at our uh, off-grid trailer. So uh, yeah, so right now, I mean, I've had good luck with it. It's been working great now for about a week. I want to test it before I went actually on here. So right now I'm pushing in. Uh, about five amps, which is it's like a overcast day, so not not the best. Um, this panel puts out about nine amps total, um, and uh, yeah, I've been pretty impressed with it. In the winter time, there'll be two panels hooked up to this, and eventually there'll be a bunch of uh, panels hooked up to it. I do have another thousand watt grid tie inverter coming. Um, I thought this one was broken and it wasn't working well, so they sent me another one. So. I'm going to have two, and eventually I'll have, uh, hopefully, about four panels. But uh, right at the moment, um, I need to get uh, a kilowatt meter so that I can hook it up in here and see actually what I'm putting in. Because right now I have no idea how much power I'm actually putting into the grid. And for me, I like, I'm all about the numbers. I, you know, it has to be worth it, you know, for the amount of money you're spending on the panels, blah, blah, blah. So that is the next thing I need. I just can't afford it right now. So, um, yeah, so I appreciate everybody checking out this video. And if you have any questions on the way I have this all hooked up or uh, any of that, um, feel free to ask down in the comments. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, remember to subscribe. And as always, if you could click that thumbs up button, it would be greatly appreciated. Everybody have a great day.